Hey, it's Tech Boy here, and today uh, we're gonna have fun putting a computer together. Uh, we have a pretty cool computer build here. Um, it's a AMD 8 core uh, system, so I got a pretty good deal on a motherboard and CPU and RAM bundle. And uh, it's a full ATX case or full ATX motherboard but I don't have a full ATX case to put it in so we're gonna try to fit this into a micro ATX case so what I have is a micro ATX uh, pre-built HP case um, the motherboard in it died so we're gonna strip that out and try to get this to fit inside so it should be should be a pretty interesting build with the right uh, ingenuity and figuring some stuff out so this uh, should be fun alright for so f the first thing we have to do is get a CPU cooler on this before we're able to use it. So we're going to use this AM2 cooler, which should fit. I think the holes line up, so I can take it off this old HP board and hook it up to this. It's pretty simple. It's not fancy. It's cheap plastic, but it should work for now. So here we have uh, a little time lapse of uh, setting up the case. So since this is a completely different form factor case, um, we have to do some adjustments. Had to take the power supply out of it, and um, there's only going to be about three or four screws that work with this board since it's a different layout. But at least some screws do work. Um, so I'm laying down some paper right now. Um, just so we don't short out the board because we don't know what the layout under the motherboard is for the case um, There could be metal on metal and that could destroy the motherboard and the CPU and everything It would just be a big old waste of money, wouldn't it? So laying down some paper just to be safe And just taping that in Test fitting the motherboard. Look at that. It fits barely It's it's from edge to edge you literally just squeeze in there barely but it does fit, the I.O. fits perfectly. Um, the uh, PCI slots for the graphics cards aren't a perfect fit, but um, we got one to work. Also putting some paper down for the new um, spot for the power supply. The power supply is going to be moved to the front of the case, um, since it doesn't fit in the back of the case since the uh, motherboard um, takes that spot now. So we're just doing some touch-ups with the tape and paper, getting the screw holes all lined up and all that stuff, but we got it to fit, and that's what's important. Alright, so now we got a uh, little cable management going. We got the power supply put in, and it's not like secured in. Probably on the other side I had some uh, scotch double-sided tape, but oh, it was put in. That was just a test. I was testing it. Okay, that was after the scotch tape, and now we're putting more scotch tape on the power supply. That'll hold in just fine. Alright, so it's done. I got this old uh, HP from about 2006 fitted with a new motherboard and a 8 core AMD FX uh, I believe 8120 so it did have a Phenom X4 in there with Nvidia graphics but that board went bad so I had to kind of fit a had to fit a uh, full ATX board in this micro ATX case which worked surprisingly. I didn't think it would work. So I did have to move the power supply to the front of the case and all that. I'll show you how I did everything. So here we have the uh, ATX board. Oh, you need light. You need light. There we go. So this doesn't have any graphics output. 
so I had to find a graphics card to throw in here. Um, cable management's a little bit messy right now, but it's a pretty big board, and it fit just barely right where that metal was to the other side of the case. I was able to get three screws in. Um, where's the screws? Two on the bottom and one up near the top somewhere. So, like, I think right there, yeah, right there. And I put paper underneath the board so there's nothing to short out. Uh, ATX boards are so, to me, pointless because you can fit so much on a micro ATX and you get a small form factor. And I didn't have an ATX case, so I made this work. Power supply used to be right here, but the board had to go here, so I uh, stuck the power supply here. It's held in with uh, double-sided 3M tape and uh, and regular scotch tape, and it's holding in pretty solid. I'm going to check on thermal output. This is the original uh, light on power supply. I believe almost, it's pretty much 300 watts, probably about 290, something like that. And hopefully this has no issue powering that 8-core CPU. I have the uh, hard drive there and the, uh, the CD drive bay. I had to take the CD drive out because it stuck out too far and it wouldn't fit. So it's not going to have a CD drive. Um, there's the fan for the power supply, so it's going to get some heat build up in here. And there's the output fan there. There's the CPU fan. That's off the old motherboard as well for that phenom. So, so hopefully that works for the... Uh, the 8 core for a little while. Doesn't seem that hot, really. And then cheap little graphic card. Got all the wires mashed down there. And then I got G Skill Rip Your RAM. So, 8 gigs of that. I can put two more DIMMs in. It's DDR3. So, concern is the power supply blowing hot air into the case because it's in the front, but we'll see what happens, and hopefully it can handle the <laughs> wattage output of, or taking, uh, hopefully it can handle the wattage that the CPU requires as well. And, uh, so we got the power cable coming in through a little hole there, and goes across, connects there, I got a mess of wires down there. Um, as of now, it's the best, uh, best wire control I got. And the cool thing is, this PC has card readers, front audio, and USB. And you would think that was proprietary, but it all fits in here. It all works. I got all that to work. The only thing that doesn't work is power light and hard drive light. But I even got the power button to work on here. So that fit as well. It's awesome. So everything works. Uh, I got some G-Skill Ripjaw RAM in there. And yeah, it's a nice motherboard too. So, and then here's the back of it. All right, so I know that was sort of a, a quick cutoff, but that's all the recording I actually got done uh, with this build. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, it works great. It took me quite a long time to get it running. Um, I had some issues with the hard drive not working correctly. I went through a few hard drives finally got the hard drive formatted correctly and it's a beast of a computer it runs very fast and it's way more powerful than what I need it for um, so yeah it was a fun build you can get a uh, ATX board into a micro ATX uh, case didn't think it was possible but with a, a little bit of moving parts around you can make it work so uh, thanks for watching if you want to see more uh, computer builds um, and more reviews and I got a bunch of retro stuff I'm gonna uh, start uh, showing you guys just hit that subscribe button down the bottom click the like button if you liked it and click the dislike button if you didn't like it it's only fair alright thanks for watching I can't regret